Well, you guys, do you really need an antivirus protection software on your PC? Well, the answer to this is yes and no. The no refers to the fact that you don't have to go out and find antivirus software anymore because it comes built into Windows. It's called Windows Defender. And years ago, I would have been the first to say it wasn't that great. But over the last year, uh, Microsoft have been working really hard to make Windows Defender a lot better. And over the last year, it's made massive improvements at securing Windows and blocking ransomware and stopping it in its tracks and also blocking malware as well. Whereas before, it was really not that great. And a lot of people used to just install another antivirus software. But I can actually say that through testing and watching other tests online as well, that actually uh, Windows Defender has performed a lot better with ransomware than what it has ever done before. So as long as you keep your Windows up to date by using Windows updates, you should be protected using Windows Defender all on its own. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then click on the link in the video description, and then you'll be able to buy yourself a Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Click on the Buy Now button, and then basically use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a nice big 30% discount. Once that's done, submit your order and then you will receive your key and then you can activate your version of Windows. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video on how to disable Windows Defender and that's because quite a few people still believe that they don't need to have an antivirus at all in 2022 and they're clued up enough to not need one. But if you look at these stats here, you can clearly see that ransomware in 2020 was affecting Windows based systems more. 91% of ransomware attacks were on Windows alone. Windows Server, it was 76%. And going on to Windows tablets, 8%. And then we got Android, 6%. Mac OS, 7%. And iOS, 4%. And these are just ransomware for 2020. And these were official stats from a website, which I'll leave the link in the video description. You can check that out. Now, this is a pretty alarming amount of ransomware, which is attacking Windows-based systems. Now, of course, I haven't got Linux in that list, but it doesn't make it immune to ransomware attacks. In fact, the, the uh, campaign for attacking Linux users has increase quite a lot and I'll cover that in another video and that's pretty scary stuff but if you think that's bad take a look at the new malware by operating system in 2021 and 2022 as you can see here the new malware for 2022 is 30,350,000 for Windows users and also back in 2021 it was 116,850,000 which is absolutely mind-blowing and then you've got other operating systems there which is like android and mac os and as you can see they're not as bad as windows and this is because windows has the biggest user base which makes it more likely to be attacked compared to other operating systems like linux and and android and mac os because not a lot of people use those operating systems compared to windows so if you're one of those people that don't use an antivirus program whatsoever including windows defender then something is always better than nothing in my opinion now there's other options available out there which are free antivirus programs which are being promoted quite heavily nowadays and they seem to be going backwards they seem to be bundling their uh, antivirus software with tons of other features that are not necessary which just add added bloat to the actual software and it makes the system become real sluggish more processes are needed and you'll see what i mean when we install uh you know avast here so let's take a look at avast here this is a free download called avast one and again it comes bloated with loads of other programs that you don't really need and the reason for this is probably to try to coax you into buying it. And they'll always be bombarding advertisements of you upgrading to the premium service and things like that. Also, you can see here a bunch of improvements to help Avast One. There's loads of feedback they want you to send back to them. And you become a bit of a product by installing this free antivirus program. And a lot of other antivirus programs have gone down this route where they're bundling in 
registry cleaners, temporary uh, file cleaners, and other things like that. Uh, you know, so we're going to take a look at that in this video, and I'll give you my opinion on some of this. Now, this is probably going to be more protection than, say, for instance, Windows Defender, because it comes as an internet security package where you're getting, for instance, File Shield, Web Shield, ransomware protection, firewall, and also network inspection, and other things like that which keep you safe. And you can see there's a couple of ones with padlocks on them, like Sensitive Data Shield, uh, Web Hijack Guard, Web Camera Protection, VPN, uh, you know, other stuff like that, which a lot of this stuff is obviously going to be monitoring what you're doing online as well, which means they can collect information from you. And this is exactly what these antivirus companies are doing nowadays. They're basically farming your data out to other pe people. And you can see here, password protection, privacy advisor, uh, loads of stuff like private mode, tracking prevention, PC speed up, software updater, disk cleaner, driver updater. It's all bundled in one uh, software. And this is obviously going to become a bit of a resource hog to the system. And this is how antivirus programs are going nowadays. It's a load of bloat that you don't really need. All you need is basically a antivirus program with, uh, you know, a scanner on it that actually protects you from, say, malware and ransomware. And that is it. And if you go to, say, Kaspersky's website and read some of the information of the data they collect through their antivirus program, it's pretty much the same thing. Because they're scanning everything that comes into your computer, which is basically all your emails are being scanned, all of your files you download, all of your URLs you go to, they're scanning all of these. If they're scanning them, it means they're reading that information, as it says right here on their website. It gives you all the information about what they're doing. We want to provide Kaspersky customers with the highest level of protection when they are browsing the web. No matter which websites they visit, uh, the URLs can be sent to the cloud and checked. Uh, if they're malicious and prevented users from visiting them, uh, this information also helps create a list of allowed and harmless websites. Now, this means that they're monitoring exactly where you're going and what you're doing. Same with suspicious files and other information, which is obviously being monitored. The same thing for your emails are all being scanned to make sure there is no information there. So there's like a man in the middle uh, of all your personal information, which is not good if you're going about uh, on the Internet and surfing the web and it's checking every single website you go to. And this is their free version. And Avast have been known to literally bombard you with pop-ups of upgrading with 50% off and 70% off to the premium version. And it's a real big turn off for a lot of people. Now, you can see with Avast installed, it disables Windows Defender. But you can keep using your current provider and get Microsoft Defender uh, antivirus to check periodically for threats as well if you wanted to by just toggling this on here. So if you wanted to have... Microsoft Defender in the background checking as a secondary line of defense. You can do that as well by doing this here. And of course, the more layers of security you're adding to your PC, this will obviously impact the system resources of the PC as well, because each one of these layers of security you're adding is going to have another service and another process. And this then becomes a bit of a system hog, which is another video which I'll create about uh, antiviruses uh, which create the most uh, impact on the system. You can see here, looking at the task manager inside uh, Windows 11 here with Avast installed, and you can see a massive amount of processes being used by Avast. And these are all literally services or processes being used to protect your system. You can see here antivirus engine service. You've got firewall service. You've got, you know, the... Avast service here, there's another software analyzer service. They're all processes is running in the background in their own little containers and literally hogging all of your system resources. When you start doing deep scans on the system, this is going to literally, you know, reuse all your resources up. And if you're on a low end system with only like four gigabytes of RAM or eight gigabytes of RAM and you've got a very low end processor, this will literally grind the system to a halt and it will use high resources for it. 
So we'll do a quick smart scan here first, and this is not going to use a lot of resources. It's just going to skim across the surface. And uh, to do a full deep scan, this is what's going to use the resources up. So these little quick smart scans are not going to really do that much. Now, you'll probably notice one thing here is once we do this, it's obviously going to give us some sort of promotion or plug at the end of their scan, because this is what Avast do with all of their software. They just market the hell out of their free software. And this is what they do. And uh, you can see here, CPU is at 40%. And it's checking the browser and a bunch of other stuff here. And it's going to go through and say no viruses found. Oh, it says seven advanced issues found. What are these advanced issues? Oh, it's because we haven't got the premium version. And to resolve all of these, we can use the premium button here. And you can see this is just for DNS hijacking and password save, uh, data breaches uh, not being monitored and VPN secure connection and a bunch of other stuff in here, which they're trying to pedal to you. And again, automatically run smart screen once a month. You can toggle that on. And again, if you want to do, do a deep scan, uh, this is where the problems will lie. Once you do a full system scan of your system, that was just basically scanning your uh, Windows files. So if you wanted to do a quick full scan of the system to make sure you don't have any sort of nasties hanging around or looming around, you can do a full in-depth scan. So let's go to the uh, scan center here and we'll do a deep scan here. And once you do this, you'll probably see that the system resources will jump right up and it will probably start hogging quite a lot of resources of the computer. So you can already see here, we have the processes running here and the disk is starting to grind up to 100% here. You can see that starting to go and there we go. And the CPU just jumped up a little bit there, spiking. And if we look here, you can see on the SSD here, it's starting to grind out quite a bit. Now we're on a virtual machine here, but you get the general idea of how this works here. So the, the CPU is uh, fluctuating memory is being used quite a bit now a lot of these free antivirus programs uh, that come bloated with all of this layers of security will grind the system and they do impact the system quite a fair bit and if you're on a low-end system then it will impact you even more and this is quite a, a beefy uh, ryzen 7 3800x so it's quite a beefy processor which can handle it. But on a lower end system, it will literally grind it to a halt a little bit. So bear that in mind when you're using other antivirus programs. Uh, yes, they are more protective than, say, Windows Defender. But again, also, they're collecting a lot more data and farming a lot more data from you. So bear that in mind as well. And a lot of these uh, premium antiviruses will bundle in a lot of extra features like parental controls, firewalls, secure browsers, password managers, encrypted cloud storage, uh, system optimizers, identity theft protection, VPNs, and other things like that. So if you must use a third-party antivirus software, you really just need to make sure that you've got one that just scans for viruses and malware and ransomware. Really, if you don't want all the other bloat, then just go for one of the basic uh, antivirus programs. Obviously, Avast is a bit more bloated than others, but just use one that has actually got all of that stuff removed from it. Now, of course, when you go to uninstall it, it will automatically go back to Windows Defender. And again, when you go to uninstall, it's going to give you a one month premium Avast one uh, before uninstalling. They're trying to get you to stay with them. And this is exactly what they do. So just bear that in mind when you're using these free antivirus programs. Uh, you are the product, basically. And the biggest problem of other people's opinions when they say you don't need an antivirus program, including Windows Defender, you can turn everything off and just use your own initiative. This absolutely baffles me because these people are obviously assuming that everyone is at the uh, tech level that they're at. And of course, sadly, that is not the case. A lot of people or the majority of people that use computers are of novice level at most. And when you're talking of hundreds of millions of malware being released in 2021, you can see how easy it is to fall foul to malware infections and ransomware and scams and other things like that. So having something on your PC at least is the right way to go, whether it will be Windows Defender or some sort of other antivirus software.
And also remember the biggest flaw in any operating system is the user themselves. A lot of antivirus programs will require you to decide to block or allow on the system. And this is where the problem lies. Uh, they don't want to take that away from you. A lot of these ransomware protection programs will always prompt you, do you want to allow this on the computer or do you want to block it? And if you don't know what you're blocking or allowing, of course, this is how you can get infected a lot of the time. Anyway, I hope this answers all your questions. So yes, you do need an antivirus program. No matter what people tell you on the internet, you will need some sort of form of protection, whether it's Windows Defender or a third-party antivirus protection. You only ever need one antivirus program running at any one time. If you have more than that, you're going to end up causing yourself problems and slowing down the system. And the more layers of security you add, the more of a system hog uh, those uh, programs are going to be to your system and slow things up. And probably the biggest bit of advice I can give you is educate yourself about what you're doing on the internet, what you're clicking on and what you're actually downloading. And you should be perfectly fine. Use a bit of common sense and you should be uh, perfectly fine on the internet. Anyway, but that said, that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have an awesome weekend and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.